Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering, and today we are doing vocal mixing in Cubase 5. Before we go anywhere, let me play this and please make sure you watch another part where uh, we will be talking about how to mix uh, vocals in a professional way in Cubase 5. Here we go. All right, right there. The first thing that I want to explain to you guys is this. During the, t the time when you are recording uh, vocals, let's say your artist is in the booth or the studio, make sure you add a compressor on your stereo in. A compressor that you have, any compressor that you have is going to work. Uh, set it on, uh, on two ratio. Let your ratio be two just like that or on auto we have uh cubase compressors that you can just uh throw in there so that your vocals can just have that uh consistency so that's the reason why you uh you throw in a compressor on your stereo in and once that has happened then your vocal needs a little bit of fine tuning and that fine tuning is uh when you put in uh auto tune um, auto tune is set and make sure you set your auto tune uh, in the right key. The problem that many of you guys are having is that you are not setting your auto tune in the right key. If you do not know how to, uh, let's say, play a key, I know you know nothing about keys, ask your producer to uh, uh, tell you the key or the person that played the instrument for you to, to show you the key uh, or write it down somewhere the key where the instrument was played in that is really going to help your vocals sit well and now the other thing that you have to to uh to do is whenever you're setting your auto tune is uh don't play with uh vibrato don't try to create vibrato if you do not know how to create vibrato just leave these this part the way it is do not come to format uh, and do whatever that uh, you don't know how to do. Just come to uh, the input. Put it on soprano. Soprano always works out for me. Unless if you have a really low uh, vocal, you can set it on uh, low male. But soprano always works out for me. I know others uh, love auto tenor, but soprano always works for me. And then come to your key. Put the right key. And then come to your scale. Put the right scale. Is it major? Is it minor? Is it uh ling lang scholars or greek dia well with me major or minor usually works out for me all right and then when you come to pitch correction control center this is where you find your retune speed correction style humanized natural vibrato this is connected to vibrato this side so just work with your retune speed even if you set your retune speed on uh on fifth on, on 10 or it's just gonna sound uh great then you can use humanize to make it human a little bit okay so once you have set your pitch uh auto tune then you come to your groups and your groups that's where you now begin to work with uh an eq first from an eq then you go to compression from compression you can add an eq again if you want to or dynamics then you can uh compress a little bit more let's say if there are other things that you want to compress you can still compress your vocal a little bit so that your vocal can really uh sit in the mix the way you want it to sit then this side when recording your vocal do not touch anything especially if you want to like do a proper mix that's not too uh uh loud or too too noisy do not try to uh raise up the gain the vocal gain right here and just raise everything up like that leave 
the vocal the way your vocal leave the way the vocal is and uh raise up the gain using your compressor your compressor is going to help you to uh, raise up the gain now apart from that if you do not uh if you want to raise your volume even more then use a maximizer like in my case i am using this uh to mix i'm using a uh, compressor deesa compressor deesa has everything that i want I use this as my maximizer, I use this as my compressor, I use this as my DSR. As you can see, I've got no DSR, or everything's already like uh, in this one apart from uh, EQ. So I have set my compressor, check out the videos that I did on compressor, it's really gonna help you uh, mix your vocals very, very, very nice. Then from there you have an EQ, we have an EQ right here, which is our uh, f uh, 6 rta this is an eq that gives you the results that uh you may need for your song as you can see i've done a little bit of a boosting right there and a little bit of a cut around 1k and a cut around 2k the rest is left where they are this other part from uh, uh 4k going all the way to 20k everything is just left the way they are then i have this compressor compressing the vocal and warming it a little bit and making sure that some of those parts where the vocal was uh those other parts which this uh, first compressor did not compress can be compressed by this second compressor so the second compressor is used to catch those other parts where the first compressor did not catch so this is like helping the first uh compressor and then from there i added an x noiser x noiser is something that i use to uh really really remove noise and warm the vocal there were just uh there are just different effects uh each uh denoiser has like x noiser has that warmth adds that warmth to vocals and that's the reason why i picked this one <laughs> check out in the next video where i will be talking about how to mix your vocals uh in a professional way in cubase r5 so see you in the next one <laughs>